Picture this. You're on a trail that winds through towering forests, opens up to panoramic views, and it takes you to places with the most spectacular scenery. Now, imagine you're walking through this scenery and you can't actually see it because you just broke your glasses back there. They're all scratched up anyway because of the way you've been storing them in your pack. And you're there trying to get them clean. You're trying to get them so you can view this scenery and it's just not happening. But what if I told you there was a way for you to be able to see everything crystal clear every time? That's what we're here to talk about today. The right prescription eyewear and the right sunglasses can transform the way you explore the outdoors. Hi there friends, welcome back. My name's Mauser. Today we are looking at a topic that is often overlooked by many hikers, but it's particularly important for people like me who are out on the trail or are out hiking, but need to wear their glasses. We're looking at prescription eyewear and we're looking at sunglasses. Now, whether you're hiking up rugged terrain or taking in stunning vistas, the right eyewear can have a huge difference on your experience. Stick around to discover the prescription glasses and sunglasses that have become must-haves when I'm on the trail. All the right there. Hi, family. How you going? We're also going to have a bit of a look at sunglasses and the beauty of this is they don't have to be prescriptions. These can be ones that you can just buy and wear even if you don't wear glasses. So let's dive in. Now I don't know about you, but without my glasses or contact lenses, when I don't have them on, everything is a blur. I can basically, I can't see. I can't see the camera that I'm looking at right now. But the moment I put these on, clarity. It's a wonderful thing when your vision is that bad that you can put on a pair of glasses like this and see everything crystal clear. Now I have been wearing glasses for around 30 years and it's taken years and years to find a pair of glasses that I am happy with on my hiking adventures. So let's start with my trusted companions on the trail. These things, Roker prescription glasses. Now I have tried literally dozens and dozens of glasses, spectacles over the years and it took me a long time before I discovered these things around eight years ago. Now these glasses are not just about providing crystal clear vision, they provide unparalleled clarity and comfort, in my opinion. I first discovered these when I was doing a lot of trail running a few years ago, and while I often wear contact lenses, I wanted to be able to wear glasses as well when I chose. And every pair of glasses I owned would slip off, would fall off while I was running, really frustrating. I wanted something like a pair of sunglasses, but in this sort of format, that I could wear while I was running without putting contact lenses in. I discovered these, they're only available out of the United States. I had to order them online and I took a bit of a leap of faith, sent them my prescription and a few weeks later, my glasses arrived and I was super happy with them straight away. The things I love most about them is that they are durable, they're lightweight and they stay on. No matter what you're doing, these things stick to your nose and they just stay on. In addition to this, they've got anti-scratch, anti-fog coatings. So they are very, very durable. They're also got a hydrophobic coating, so if it's raining, the water tends to run off. While it doesn't keep that off altogether, it is much better than other glasses that I've used. When they arrive, they have got interchangeable nose pads, so you can get the exact right fit when you're putting them on. And like I said, they've got the hydrophobic coating, so even when you're out of the trail and it's raining a bit, if you're sweating, they don't slip, they don't have a coating of water over the lens. You might just get some beading, some droplets, but that's fine. They've got a whole heap of different styles and they've just released new colors. I noticed when I was checking out the website for this video, I've bought quite a few pairs over the years. I've got running sunglasses, I've got sunglasses, I've got glasses, you name it, I've got it because I've loved these glasses so much over the last few years that I have ended up buying a few pairs. So I've just got my regular glasses that I wear all the time. They're the Cade Roker glasses. I like them. We've got the non-prescription type that I use running and use hiking if I've got contact lenses in. I love these things. They don't slip and they're streamlined. Looking cool. Then for something a bit different, some clear frames. These are transition glasses. So when I step outside into the sun, these will change into sunglasses. Some people tell me these look like ladies frames, but I quite like them. Then of course, I've got a few other pairs. I've got sunglasses, the other glasses. Love all my Roker glasses. The only disadvantage to these is that I need to order them online from the United States of America. I'm here in Tasmania, in Australia. Uh, that can be a bit challenging, especially when you get your first pair. It is a leap of faith, but what I have done is I get my prescription done, I get a copy of it, and I email it to them when I'm placing the order, and I haven't had a problem yet in a single pair that I've ordered from Roker. They're made to order, and it takes a few weeks, but 
then they arrive, have never had a problem. If I could buy these locally, I absolutely would. So if there's any local optometrist chains or Roker, if you're listening, get them stocked in Australia. I would love to have a store where I could go in and try all the different types. Now the Rokers do come in a very nice hard case. They also send a soft case these days, so you do get both. And these are quite light and a good way to carry your glasses on the trail. I'll often just have them in there. If I'm wearing contacts during the day for whatever reason, I will often have them in there in the case and it's just nice and light and solid so they don't get crushed, they don't get wrecked. And that's really important when you are wearing glasses. If you need to wear glasses when you're hiking, you need to keep them in some sort of hard or semi-hard case. That is a good one. If you're just looking for something generic, I have actually found in the past, and this is super lightweight, it's about 20 or 30 grams, is a goggles case, a swimming goggles case that I found online. Link is below, but important part of your glasses, doesn't matter if it's your rokers, your indestructible rokers, or anything like that, you need to keep them protected when they're in your pack. Now you're probably saying, well, what if it's raining? You know, you're gonna get water on them. Like I said, these are hydrophobic. They do get droplets of water, but what I do there is I keep a uh, thing for cleaning my camera lens is actually uh, this thing, a magic fiber cloth. It's a lens cleaning cloth, but I find it really, really good for glasses. Uh, you can use any glasses cloth, but I just really like these. They're very light and they've just got a special feel about them. And I keep one of them in the top of my pack or in my pocket when I'm hiking so I can clean these glasses all the time. Definitely don't try and clean your glasses on your shirt. They will get scratched and you don't want that. Now, of course, hiking hopefully will often include a heavy dose of sunshine. And that is where my favorite pair of sunglasses come in. And these days, my favorite pair of sunglasses is my Oakley Holbrook sunglasses. Now, I actually have a couple of pairs of these bad boys. I really like them. They're very comfortable. They sit well on the face. And you can try them on at most sunglass stores, optometrists. Ones at Stock Oakley will tend to have these. They're one of the most popular Oakley sunglasses, which also makes them a little bit cheaper, which is quite nice. And also, the beauty of the Oakley Holbrooks is that they are very easily prescriptionable. Is that a word? Prescriptionable? You can get your prescription made for the sunglasses. Now, I have very poor vision. My prescription is quite strong. And as a result, I find it very hard to find people that can make prescription sunglasses for me in a brand of sunglasses that I'd like, like the Oakley Holbrooks. As a result, I need to go online. I have found to get my prescriptions made. In Australia, I'm kind of, my hand has been forced to use a mob called Vision Direct. They are the only place I can find that will do my prescription in the Oakley Holbrooks. Leave a link to them below. I've no affiliation with them, but they're the only ones that I have found to be able to make my prescription in sunglasses. Plus they have an enormous range of sunglasses. I'd love to support a local store if they could make these for me in my prescription, but I'm yet to find anyone here in Tasmania that is able to do that for me. Now, when I'm out on the trail, I'll often carry contacts with me and then I will just carry my non-prescription Oakley Holbrooks on the trail with me for two reasons. One, that I'm not going to potentially destroy my prescription pair of sunglasses, which would be bad. If anything were to happen on the trail, I've potentially wrecked a prescription pair, which cost a lot more than a regular pair. So on the trail, I will wear my contact lenses, a non-prescription wear of sunglasses during the day. Uh, and then any other time where I'm just wanting to wear my glasses, I don't want to wear contacts, I'll just have these on. I really do love the Oakley Holbrooks. I just, they feel comfy. I just like wearing them. My eyes feel comfy when I'm wearing them. Yeah, so you can get your Oakley Holbrooks at most good optical stores, most sunglass stores. I uh, actually forgot my sunglasses last year when I went away somewhere, popped into the nearest sunglass store, got these on sale, got them very cheap for about $100. Uh, and they are a good non-prescription sunglass. If you're looking for sunglasses, highly recommend, get into a store, try them on. I do also like the Roka sunglasses. They are really, really nice. I think the Barton were the ones that I had that I lost and they were really nice sunglasses. I would get some more of them, but like I said, I need to get them in from the United States. It's quite a bit more expensive. When I've got a good solution like this, I'll stick with that for now. Nice day, it's gonna be a hot one. Make the most of this weather, because it could change at any time. If I was gonna get some more prescription Rokers sunglasses, wouldn't hesitate if I was getting another pair of glasses or something from there. Now, quick disclaimer, obviously do your own research, 
prescription glasses. Uh, it's important you get the right prescription. It's important that you have the right fitting glasses. I have looked at quite a few videos online about buying glasses online. I'll leave a link to one particular one down below where it's an optometrist going through uh, comparing different glasses he's bought online. Nothing that I've discussed today, but he just sort of gives an analysis of what it's like buying online glasses online, probably. So yeah, obviously do your research. If you can get them locally, get your glasses locally. But like I said, I have had to get them through Roka and I'm yet to have any trouble with them. I've ordered five or six prescription pairs from them over the years and have not had a trouble. With the other guys, Vision Direct, I have had a couple come where they have been wrong. They've either sent me the wrong glasses or the wrong frames, but they have quickly, uh, after sending them an email, they have credited my account and then sent me the correct pair. So just buyer beware if you're gonna buy glasses online. If you're not after prescription glasses or sunglasses, pop into your local store, check out those Oakleys, check out a few different glasses, find the right ones for you, do your research. And when you're out on the trail, do not forget, put them in a good case. Get a case like that. Get a case like this, a generic glasses case, something lightweight that can do with a bit of impact and force if it's stuffed into your pack. Uh, these ones are good, I'll leave the link below. And yeah, that's uh, sunglasses and glasses today. Very quick video, just sort of do that because I'm always looking at options for glasses and eyewear. I have to wear them 24 seven. If you have any recommendations for glasses and caring for spectacles out on the track, if you found any really good glasses, then please let me know. I'll also leave a link below to another good video by a YouTuber called Chase on his channel, Chase Mountains. He looks at glasses for higher altitude, mountaineering, that sort of thing, where you really need to get those different grades of sunglasses that let less light through, especially when in the snow. These glasses today, just talking about for hiking in areas like Australia and Tasmania. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're liking the videos. If you've watched the video all the way through and you got this far, please like, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Till then, get out, go on an adventure, it's coming up to springtime here in Australia, so let me know what walks you're doing. Love to hear. Until the next one, I will see you later. Bye-bye.